it's Sunday at the shop. It's quiet around here. I kind of like that. I'm gonna make it even quieter. I'm gonna put my earplugs in here. But uh, had a customer reach out. They bought a boat that had the front door blown out. Something happened, a wave hit it, who knows. I'm gonna build them a new front door. It's not gonna match perfect. It's just gonna be out of pretty beefy stuff. This eighth inch walled rounded edge square tubing. It was a special order. We ordered an extra of it uh, from one of those last projects we did the double decker and the barge. So I've got a whole bunch more I can build whatever I need to. I'm gonna make a little door. It's about 30 inches by 23 inches tall, just a front door. It's gonna have two crossbars across. We're gonna take it up, uh, try to make it look pretty. It'll be see-through, which will be nice on the river where they are so they can see what's ahead of them without a door block in the way. And that way they can keep the door closed and keep the kiddos in. I'm gonna get started, cut some metal, cut some angles, get it clamped up. The trickiest part with building anything with a square corner is keeping things square. So I'm gonna do my best. Uh, we just tack it around, keep the heat even until everything looks good on the square. And then we put it all together. Here we go. Yes, I wear a respirator. I don't wanna breathe this crud in. 100% uh, argon. I run titanium machines, they're Harbor Freight machines. This is the TIG 200. There's nothing super fancy about it. All I have control over actually is amperage. That's it. I like a long, sharp tip on my tungsten. I have the Eastwood tungsten grinder. Works really, really well. Takes two seconds to sharpen instead of walking over to my bench, grinding it, coming back. So good investment there. I've got everything clamped up. I'm gonna get tacks on both sides piece this whole thing together with tacks, make sure we're all square, and then we'll fill in those welds. It's gonna be about 21 inches tall, 31 inches wide. So this is the width of the door, height of the door, and then we'll run a couple of pieces across just to help tie it all together and give it a little more structure and a little safer, obviously, too. And there's the finished door. So if you wonder what you can do with these Harbor Freight welders, that TIG 200, pretty consistent. When you get in a groove, everything is good and clean. You can lay down some pretty nice welds. I'm not saying I'm a pro and I could get a little more consistent, but all in all, I think it's gonna work really well. I'm gonna get the hinge installed on it. And then I gotta jump to my next project which is this watertight box. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer about my setup, uh, what I'm doing with welding, how long I've been welding, which has been about a year and a half now. Uh, but if you have questions, please comment below, let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.